Hello everyone, welcome to Femesi Lighthouse. In this reading, we're gonna be taking a look at the sign of Taurus, the recent past, the present, and the future when it comes to how this person feels about Taurus. To book a private session, all of that info can be found in the description box of this video. All right, we're gonna start with the recent past and how this person feels about Taurus. Whoa, what in the world, okay? <laughs> hey, that happens sometimes, right? They just popped out, fell on my lap. Okay, let's talk about it then. We have the King of Cups, Scorpio Energy. You could be dealing with a Pisces or a Cancer. We have the Page of Wands, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. And then we have this Six of Swords, Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. This is all energy of wanting to connect with you. All right. The King of Cups is very spiritual and has psychic abilities himself. All right. And that's the connection that you and this person have where obviously you don't have to be physically around this person for them to understand or feel what it is that you are going through, okay? This person knows that you've been very emotional, but they've been very emotional as well, okay? They like to cover it up, but I feel that you have been very open with your feelings, okay? And that's the difference between the both of you, but um, they understand where you're coming from, even if they're not talking to you about it. The desire to communicate in the recent past is definitely here, okay? You might have heard from this person or somebody told you about them. There's some sort of message that you received in reference to the both of you, okay? Even if it's telepathy, or there's some sort of message from the universe that you received in reference to them, okay? I feel like there's some sign that you saw while you were driving. Pay attention to what you see when you're driving. The numbers on the license plates, the billboards, okay? The people that are passing by. Nothing that happens is by accident, okay? You know, I don't believe in coincidence. So what you're seeing, what you hear, what you read while you're out and about has everything to do with where you are headed. So keep that in mind because oftentimes when we are, you know, on our daily routine, we just tend to go about the day like if we shouldn't be looking around us. And sometimes we do look around us, but we think nothing of it. But the more spiritual you are, the more you're going to identify the signs that are right in front of you as you go about your daily tasks, okay? So try that today. You know, as you are driving or as you are going for your walk, as you are on the train, the bus, at work, wherever, you're going to start noticing the synchronicities. And those synchronicities are revealing what's to come. Okay? So keep that in mind. We have this Six of Swords energy. All right? So I feel like this person definitely has had the desire to come towards you, to speak to you, to communicate, even if it's not happening. In the recent past, I believe that the love that they have for you is very intense, and they're also very appreciative for something that you've done here in their life. I mean, it's not like they feel you are not important. They know you're important. Okay, we're going to find out more about them. So let's take a look at the present. 
How does this person feel about Taurus in the present? That was the recent past, but talk to me about the present. How does this person feel about Taurus in the present? How do they feel about Taurus in the present, please? Spirit, how does this person feel about Taurus in the present? How do they feel about Taurus in the present? Queen of Swords, tell me more. How do they feel? Four of Pentacles. Five of Pentacles. Queen of Wands. Page of Pentacles. The Magician. With Gemini energy here at the bottom of the deck. Okay. So they feel that you are definitely in your power showing up like two different queens here, all right? The queen of swords, she's not playing around when she speaks. She wants everybody to listen and there's no time for games with the queen of swords, very logical energy. This is air, all right? Aquarius, Libra, Gemini, all right? But you're presenting yourself as this very confident individual at this time, queen of wands. You don't wanna play with her either. Okay, this is a boss figure. This is someone that is used to directing people. And um, as you can see, she is not disturbed. She knows that she's in charge. So they don't view you as a weak individual at all. All right. We have this five of pentacles. Again, they know how you feel. This is the part that is disturbing. Because if they know that you miss them or that you're waiting for them to communicate and they're not doing it, they know that you feel like the Five of Pentacles where there's something missing, okay? There's something that they're not doing for you that they are not coming through with. And that, I feel, is something that is really opening your eyes. It's like, wow, I poured everything into this person and they can't fill my cup. They can't pour back into me, right? They just feel like you're keeping to yourself as well. Um, you're very private. And, you know, I just feel like they want you to change something. That's what I'm getting here. They feel like you need to change. I have the page of pentacles here, right? And I feel like They want something more from you, but they're not giving you enough. So that's what seems to be a paradox here, okay? But anyways, let's move on to the future to see what we have in the future here. Spirit, talk to me about the future. How does this person feel about Taurus in the future? Are they going to communicate with Taurus? Are they going to show more emotion. Talk to me about this person in the future. Talk to me about Taurus's person in the future. The strength card coming out here, Leo energy. Talk to me about this person in the future for Taurus. How do they feel about Taurus in the future? How do they feel? What is going on with this person? All right. I don't know why someone chooses to be distant to a wands and then the five of cups. They're sad about you. They're trying to be strong here. So I don't know if they are intentionally doing this. I feel like they are. They're keeping themselves away. They're telling themselves that they need to stay away. The Five of Cups, the Strength card, it's like 
it's taking them a lot to stay away from you, okay? They know that you're bothered by something and yet they're choosing to be distant still, but they're watching you or attentive to you. And they're sad about this. I don't know why they're doing this. They've been doing this for how long, Taurus? I mean, the reading, it's been like this for what? Months, months, but it's going to change. It will change. And I know you hear me say that, but if the energy's like this, and it continues to be like this for right now, then we got to talk about it because sooner or later it's going to change. And so we have to be ready for that too, right? So now let's take a look at this strength card. I don't know why they feel like they got to stay away. Can you clarify the strength card here for Taurus? You see the hermit. I don't understand that. The hermit energy. Why are they the hermit? Why are they the hermit? I apologize if you hear the vacuum. They're vacuuming. Okay. Um, the Knight of Pentacles. All right. So they're quiet about you. <laughs> Period. They're quiet about Taurus. Why? Or they're quiet with you. Or something like that. The High Priestess, Pisces Energy. Tell me more. Tell me more. Tell me more for Taurus, please. The Emperor, the Knight of Swords, the Hanged Man. I don't know why they're doing this, honestly. Two of Pentacles. If they want to keep doing that, hey, all I can do is show you what energy they still are in, okay? Is there, let's ask, right? Is there somebody else then? Like, is there somebody else that this person is focused on because they feel like they need to stay away from Taurus, but I feel like they love Taurus, King of Cups. You know, what's going on? Nine of Pentacles, that's your energy, again. Do... So if Taurus is all up in this person's energy, what is wrong with this person? Talk to me, talk to me. Because they think about you, nine of pentacles. Nine of pentacles. You see, the hierophant, they think about you. They can't tell me that they don't. What do they want with the hierophant? What do they want? What do they want with the hierophant spirit? What does this person want with the Hierophant, please? What does this person want with the Hierophant? The King of Pentacles, okay? They want and they like the way that you do something. I don't know. It could be, you know, that you're a go-getter. The fact that you're a hard worker, that you, you know what I mean? It's like you're, you're, going up this success ladder. They, they're watching that. They love that about you. You know, you have something put together really well. They like that. They wanna be a part of that, but they're still holding back. They're still holding back. Talk to me about why they're holding back. Look at this. They're the four of cups, okay, to the empress. This person wants you. They want to be around you, but they're not around you. And if they are around you, you feel them blocked off. You feel them just very cold. They're telling themselves the wrong thing or they're getting bad advice from people or something like that. Okay, the Knight of Wands, Three of Wands, Distance, Ace of Wands, Three of Pentacles, Three of Swords. You know, what I'm it's like I want to get with you. I want to. I want to be around you, but this is going on, hmm. right? And you, you know what this means. 
It doesn't always mean that there's third party, but there's pain here. There's obstacles. Well, that's what I have for you, Taurus. Okay, to book a private session, to gain more clarity on your personal situation, because this is not going to be everybody's situation, all right? To understand your personal situation, then we do something just like this, but just for you, okay? So we talk about you. If you're interested in that, all of that information is in the description. Look at me, I can't even finish what I'm saying because the vacuum. <laughs> All of that info is in the description box, okay? Thank you for watching. Take care.